This game check shows the gaming quality of the Samsung Galaxy S7 compared to the new S8, especially concerning graphically advanced games like Dead Trigger 2, so let's go! And here we are, starting with the Galaxy S7. And I'm using GameBench, uh, that's a tool for showing at the upper right corner, as you can see here, live the frames per second rate. So we can have a comparison between both. First of all, that you see how gaming is in most cases, and Dead Trigger 2 is one of those games I know that are really going up to 60% frames per second on all the platforms, meaning not only on Qualcomm Snapdragons or Kirins, uh, but on all on the same level. And especially you have really rich graphics here in the maximum settings. And of course, the hardware, the S7 here has also the maximum resolution. You know, on the Samsung S7 and S8, you can switch the resolution from Full HD, for example, to Quad HD or white quad, white quad HD on the huge S8 screen. Uh, so it's not a let's play, it's not uh, about how good this game is, or if not, or my gaming quality is just to have, say, three minutes of gaming, that we have enough data for having a good comparison for the average, enough data here, and so that you can see now it's getting better on the beginning. It was a bit, little bit weak, had some problems, maybe some data to load, but if you're a gaming like these three minutes I'm planning to do, it's absolutely okay if some seconds are below. Our example here now going even down to 22, 23, that's a lot. So we are now up to uh, two minutes and let's go, we have to go like that, I guess, that way. No, nope, back here, over there. Upstairs and once more that direction. So, and uh, please do not uh, wonder if I'm turning t sometimes around like this one here, moving quickly. That's not because I'm nervous or my thumbs are nervous. It's just to have these, um, yeah, processor and, and GPU and CPU, uh, yeah that they are have have to do something so it's not easy for them so they have to uh, to show what they are able to do and here we are at the end of that level i guess but we need some more seconds here so let's me go let me go once more upstairs and back and until we have these 3 minutes completely and here we are stopping game bench so see, let's see what this session shows. Well, this is 39 frames per second here on this session. And now let's go to the S8 and see if it's doing better. And if so, how much better. So once more, starting game bench here. And like this one, once more in the upper right corner, you see the real frames per second live. And yeah, here he also has some problems by loading that data. See these little flickering, but doing quicker and better again, going up to almost 60 frames, oh, 22. So yeah, he also has to fight in these situations here. So um, that's really interesting because I may ha might have thought that, you know, it's the Exynos 8895 now, meaning you have eight cores, uh, 2.3 and 1.7 gigahertz, and especially four gigabyte of RAM and the new Mali G71 graphics module. Instead of the Mali T88 with 12 cores, it's now 20 graphic cores. And with that in the benchmarks, you know, I'm taking more than 50 individual values out of 15 several benchmarks. And in that overall ranking, the S8 is at the moment the most powerful Android phone with 110% above the average. Average is zero, meaning it's really more than double the quick than the rest or than the average. And the S7 with the Exynos 8890 
is at the moment 82% above the average. So uh, meaning that this one is still very, very powerful, but nevertheless, you see 82, 110% from the benchmarks. It's, uh, it, it, it's looking as if the AS8 is um, definitely more powerful. So I expect better um, experiences here in the games, but it's for me once down to 80, so 30, sorry, it's uh, looking like uh, just a little bit only. Yeah, and once more let's turn around sometimes here for having, for, for producing heavy usage for stressing GPU and CPU that way I guess. Yep, here we are. And let's complete three minutes also here. Turn around once more. Rums. Okay, here once more upstairs to have the complete three minutes of data. Turn around once more and go back. Like I told you, it's not about the game, it's not about the gaming. Like uh, what I'm doing, it's just having data from a real game and something to compare about uh, with the S7. Three minutes on, let's stop it and see what the S8 is doing. Here we are at 44 frames per second and you've seen I've done the very same movements instead of 39 from the S7 on the left. So that's just five frames per second. So out of 60 possible. So there is uh, space for doing it better for, let's say, some S9. But in case you're afraid, for example, owning the S7 and wondering if to buy the S8 just for gaming because it has a better um, processor. Well, at least here it's 799 euro recommended retail price. That's a lot of prices depending on your country. I know that, but I guess the difference will be almost the same in all countries of the world. So a lot of money to spend for fr five frames per second more. I'm not quite sure if a lot of you really will need this, but of course, this is your decision. You have the facts now and I hope I could help you a little bit with this game check. If you liked it, please be so kind to rate this video, give a thumbs up, maybe you even leave a sub and of course your opinion in the comments. Thanks for that in advance, take care and bye.